just like to introduce you um, as the, the author of uh, Tripping Over the Truth, The Return of the Metabolic Theory of Cancer Eliminates a New and Hopeful Path to a Cure. This is uh, Travis Christofferson. I saw that you also have over 200 reviews on Amazon, five stars, and I don't think I've seen any five-star books, not even my son's Harry Potter has gotten five <laughs> stars, so that is an impressive feat there. Thank you for joining us. Oh, thank you. Thanks for having me. So I saw your interview on the Keto Summit and that you, know, you also like to exercise, say the least. So we thought that we'd send you uh, a sample of the ketone monoester, the elusive, never before made commercially ketone monoester. And just want to get your take on it, what you thought. I've got a bunch of little questions about you know, your experience. Um, yeah. First of all, what, what were you expecting to happen? Like, did you, you know, did you have any expectations? Well, I, you know, I actually did, had pretty low expectations, to be honest, because I was going to compare it to, you know, my, my, my sort of cheat for getting the ketosis has always been MCT oils, which, you know, is a very mild boost. You really don't feel it mentally. At least you don't feel it profoundly mentally. Okay. So I kind of, you know, didn't know what to expect, low expectations. And, and when I do the ketogenic diet, I sort of do it on and off. You know, I'll do it for three, four months and then I stay low carb, but I don't do like a really strict um, compliant ketogenic diet all the time. And when I do do it, I, I have a hard time. I'm one of those guys that have a hard time making ketones. So even if I do it extremely strict, low protein, you know, lots of fats, MCT oil, when I check, you know, my, I usually check urine strips and it's always, it's always small. I don't, I don't do blood all the time. It's just too much of a nuisance. Like on, under, um, when you say small, you mean under 0.5 or like under 1.0? Under 0.5. Yeah. Like okay. the urine strips will go tray, small, moderate, large. And, and it, I think it, it walks pretty close to the path of blood ketones. You know, there's been correlative studies, so it's a good rough approximation for it. Okay. And, um, and then, so yeah, then I took it and, uh, um, well, what time did you I, take it and what'd you have for food that day? Well, I, I, so I didn't eat any carbs that day. I didn't eat any carbs the night before, like you suggested. Okay. And I was outside. It was the afternoon. I took it about oh, two o'clock and I was outside with my son and we were, we're making these concrete countertops. I'm trying to get him in a little trade. He's 16 years old and I'm trying to introduce him to the entrepreneurial spirit. So <laughs> we're outside pouring these countertops. I forgot I took it. And I just noticed that I was just, you know, kind of strangely on my game and get more and more excited about this project. And you were lifting entire countertops. Is that right? You were lifting. <laughs> <laughs> well, we were mixing concrete. So we were going, you know, 50 pound bags and it's really, it's a quick process. You got to, you got to cycle through it fast. You got three minutes to get it poured. So we're going back and forth and you know, just kind of felt a, um, just a, a you know, what's the word for it? That peak peak energy peak when you're on your peak of your well, game. Some people have used the word zone. The zone. That's it. That's what I was looking for. Right. So I'm in the zone, um, went inside and then I remembered I took it and I was telling my wife, I go, I feel insanely like just my, my mental energy is just off the charts and, and my, you know, and, and she was kind of laughing at me and I went down and talked to my son and it you know, was explaining to him what we took or what I took. And then, um, and then I just had to, I had to work out. I, I had such a surplus of not jittery energy, but just. Right. So um, is it like caffeine, caffeine energy? Go, no, no, caffeine. no jittery. It, it was a little bit foreign that it was so high, but I wouldn't compare it to caffeine where you're okay. jittery. It was just. And, it, and what it, we gave you had not, had no caffeine in it, no sugar and no B12 in it just to, uh, yeah. Right. Just, Yeah. Uh, so I, I started, yeah, I jogged. It was about, then it was about, let's see, two, three, about a couple hours later. So I jogged, did a bunch of air squats, like four or five sets of push ups, more air squats. And again, I almost felt like I had to do it. I just it felt like there was something that I almost needed to burn off. And um, then I started calming down, you know, by about eight o'clock or nine o'clock. And then I slept like a baby. And when I am in ketosis, that's one of the things I notice that when I'm doing the ketogenic diet, I'll sleep and have much more vivid dreams Yeah. and sleep better. And I, I slept like that that night. So, and I woke up 
the next morning and, you know, felt wonderful. No hangover. So I, you know, so no, no crash, no like caffeine, no crash, no, no, nope. or sugar, you sugar don't, spike and crash. Right. Which you, you're taught your whole life. There's no free lunch and there's, right. there, you know, everything you do that is euphoric. You pay a price typically. Right. Again, how about, you, what were your expectations on the taste? Cause there are some rumors floating around of people that have tried it. Uh, and how was, how was your taste experience? taste experience yeah how did it taste you know like, i, I didn't it, like? it didn't it's definitely foreign it's you know it's got a um there's some bitterness and and it's not you know it's not it's a taste you're used to but it didn't it didn't bother me too much i, I felt a little bit of gastrointestinal you know a little transient upset huh. after about like, five minutes gi compared to like you know your first time taking a tablespoon of mct oil Right. Yeah. Nothing like that. Nothing like that. Okay. So just not, a, nothing like that. Maybe nothing like a one like, minute, what I experienced, not to lead you on, but a one minute twinge that you go, huh, what's that? And then, you know, a minute later it was gone. That's, that's what, what I've felt. Yep. Yep. And, and you're right about the aftertaste. There is aftertaste. If you don't, I took it over like three or four different, you know, pulls off of it. And if you, okay. I pulled the last one, I took a carbonated beverage afterwards and that got rid of the aftertaste. Great. And have you heard so, any, rumors or, or, or stories online about it tasting just absolutely unbearable? I haven't, no. Oh, you I haven't? Okay. I haven't looked. I haven't looked, though. But I've heard, you know, the Peter Atia. Yeah, that's what I'm referring to. Yeah, his, right. his, you know, vivid story because he didn't mix it with anything. And I kind of compare that to someone having a margarita party, serving everyone tequilas and saying, bottoms up, and then, you know, oops, we forgot to put in the margarita mix. Like, of course, it's not right. going to taste tastes great. And it's yeah. not your typical sports drink as far as, you know, yummy flavoring that you'd want for, you know. Yeah. I I'd, I'd liken it to like a shot. You're right. It's like a shot of whatever you want to say, tequila. You just got that kind of like, you know, you, you get to make the curdle face and then it's over. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the, the wince that wins. Um, right. So there's been a, you know, a lot of talk about it being for endurance. Do you have any thoughts because you didn't necessarily do you know a uh, multi-hour run or anything H how did you feel and what do you think it might what applications do you think there might be for bodybuilders sprinters and and you know the non-endurance side of the equation well yeah, the endurance side i you know i'd love to test that further because I, there's no way you couldn't that surplus of energy wouldn't translate to i don't see how it couldn't translate to better performance Right. And I, what I notice is when I'm on the ketogenic diet, you know, it, I, I liken that the, the Veach paper to where per unit oxygen, you get more bang for your buck in ketones. And you can feel that when you're in ketosis, you, when you hold, I, when you hold your breath, it's such a beautiful, obvious translation of the biochemistry. Well, I think I need to ketosis, have more people test that out. Cause that's an easy enough test. Hold your yeah, breath and, and you know, twice. That's, that, that's what I felt when I, when I took the shot, I did air squats, but I couldn't, I couldn't get myself to breathe hard. So you just feel this immediate, you know, uh, better efficiency with utilization of oxygen. I felt that. And I didn't tell you, I, I did do some urine strips afterwards. Okay. And it was, it was completely off the charts purple, which I've never been in in my entire life. Okay. Yeah. And what's the highest you've ever got? You said in, in your diet, you've only gotten like to the, the, the second of the, of the five meter readings, right? Yeah, yeah, oh, like right. small, small, which I, th I can't remember what that translates. One millimolar, perhaps, right, is right. the highest so, I've ever been. So would you consider this uh, the real thing, the real deal, or just uh... – oh, oh, my God, yeah, for sure. I've never – I didn't know, you know, of course, I've heard about these coming for some time, about um, – in, in Dr. Veach's papers about them, the proposal of them, you know, which to me are just seminal papers. I've, I've combed through those. I can't remember – I don't know how many times I've read them. But to actually, you know, experience that after having read that for so long was just phenomenal. It's, it's you know, beyond the real deal. Wow. And you, you mentioned that you actually had some concern that your mental clarity might be a signal of something. Can you go into that? Well, yeah, I just if, if you are, yeah, for me, you know, if, if taking this alternative fuel when I'm uh, in a typical carbohydrate diet, a Western diet, and I'm burning glucose, if I'm that much better um, after, you know, forcing my body into ketosis, it just makes me concerned that, that I'm not using glucose efficiently, that there could be some, you know, the beginning of 
uh, carbohydrate intolerance or whatever you want to say. You know, so it, it just it shows you how <laughs> you don't you don't realize you're aging like you exactly. are. This slow, pernicious process. Like, holy shit, that's how I should feel all the time. And how, and how, another thing how I old know, are you? I'm 45. Okay. All right. Uh, another thing I noticed too is uh, right away is my vision goes to high def. <laughs> so and that I, I is one like, of the things that I noticed. I thought that I was wearing Serengeti driving la- lenses, and I had to kind of like touch my eyes because Serengeti lenses will make it. So when you're driving, it really feels like, like you say, HD. And I, was, I kept on looking around. I'm like, what is going on? So one of my upcoming experiments, because the number of experiments, like Steve has said, is just going to be endless, um, is taking the drink or going to the eye doctor, taking the drink, coming back to the eye doctor and say, hey, I'm back again. The guy's going to say, what are, you, you know, what are you trying to do? You can't make your vision better. And see if I can quantify that, that vision. So it's great to hear that you you notice, uh, you know, the HD, the HD feeling. Yeah. It's yeah. hard to characterize. I think when, when I took it the first time, it's not, <clears throat> I don't know if it was not exactly acuity. <clears throat> I couldn't see, uh, maybe better on the chart. Everything just seems sharper. That's it. That's how I would describe it too. And yeah, I, I, was, I don't know. I'm not sure you couldn't see better on the chart, you know, yeah, I, maybe I, I, you I could. I think you might be able to see that last line, you know, which way is the E turning and uh, maybe, I mean, it's worth, Yeah. it's an easy enough test. That and the breath test I need to add because it's, it's kind of hard to quantify, you know, how did you feel? Um, and some people don't feel anything and that's going to be a tough thing for some people if, you know, if they go to buy this and, you know, they don't feel anything, they can get frustrated. Um, mm-hmm. and, but it's, it's about how your body takes the different fuels and we also don't know what's going to happen after you take this, you know, uh, a dozen times. There have been people that have taken it for five years and one year, uh, and we have their comments on it. But, you know, will you become more adapted to using ketones? Uh, another question is, if someone who's low carb, are they going to be, uh, is it going to affect them more than someone that has the average American diet? Uh, you know, it, there's endless, you know, different biohackers, biohacker type tests to, to do on this. There is. I just, just, yeah, you guys, you know, there is a ton of sorting through the, the most efficient way to do it and, and all that. Is it good with just a standard diet? Is it better with a low carb diet? Is it better with a ketogenic diet? Right. Right. Well, one thing that uh, we've been told is to actually try to avoid MCT oil with it because they both create ketones. So you're kind of competing for the same pathway. So, you know, that's sure. you know, another uh, experiment to be done. So you're in the world of metabolic therapy. Do you want to, uh, do you care to hypothesize of, you know, how it might be used in your line of work? Oh, wow. I, you know, this is, to me, this is just the, the frontier, the new frontier. Of, and, and as I was saying, that, that where it all converges is, is just aging itself. And that's what to me is so exciting is we parse all these diseases, Alzheimer's, diabetes, you know, and Parkinson's, cancer, into distinct diseases and attack them separately and spend all this money when, in fact, the, the real pernicious cause of everything, they're all side effects of aging. So what interests me about is not just the energy substrate, which, you know, it's a cleaner burning fuel, there's less ROS and so forth. I think that's well established. But the fact that it acts epigenetically through histone deacetylase inhibition which they just showed in a paper with C. elegans extend the lifespan by 20%. Beta hydroxybutyrate did with and through that pathway. So I think that application, you know, is where it gets exciting for me because with drugs, you know, drugs like metformin that are just so mind boggling to me, the fact that you can basically, you know, essentially cure type two diabetes through a, through a, a French lilac plant, an extract from a French lilac plant, you know, how the hell is it doing that? Right. So I, I think that ketones, this product, you know, ketones in general, your product, that's where the, the true, you know, this wonderment lies is if it's going to converge on so many d- diseases. And if it probably I can see someday just being prescribed at a certain age to everybody, you know, well, to, as a perfect. Right now it's a sports drink. So, you know, we're laser focused on that, but you know, other people right. can start, you know, thinking about the, the future. Yeah. Yeah. Great. 
Yeah, I mean, the preventative aspect alone beyond performance too is where it gets exciting. Yeah. And how is your, yeah. I forgot to ask you, how is your recovery the following morning as far as just muscle fatigue? Would you normally, did you do a type of workout that would have you know, made you feel something the next day? Yeah, I feel, you know, it wasn't my normal routine, so I have a hard time really comparing apples to apples, but I felt, I felt great the next morning, you know, totally refreshed, no, no residual stuff at all. No um, soreness? No soreness, no. Okay. You know, I, I probably didn't do enough to get real sore, but um, I, I would say that I probably did feel a little better than I, than I normally would have. Great. Steve, can you think of anything else? We can wrap this up. I think we're good. 